So we all know that Elden Ring has an absolute magnitude of weapons that we can find in the lands between and if you aren't already aware we are doing a little mini series where we're taking the rarest weapons that you can farm and I let you know whether or not they're a complete waste of time and you don't need to do it or if they're God's gift and you need to get them right this second. But it's not only weapons that are rare in this game, there's also a vast majority of armor sets that are also considered rare and today we're going to be looking at one of the rarest. So strap yourselves in for the slightly different take on is this a complete waste of time. Definitely hit the like button down below if you happen to like this video and if you want to stay up to date for the rest of the uh, videos in this series, hit that subscribe button. It's free so why not give it a go? You never know, you might enjoy the content. But anyway, uh, back to the reason why you've clicked on this video, well that's going to be none other than the Banished Knight armor set, the unaltered version. And there is literally only one location where you can farm this where two specific enemies will be wearing it and that's what I'm going to show you today. So as for the farming technique, it does require you to get to Castle Soul, so you do need to have access to the Mountain of the Giant, so it's somewhat of a late game armor. And once there, once you gain access to Castle so you need to work your way until the Church of the Eclipse, which is where actually the legendary weapon is residing as well, just as a quick little side note. But once you've obtained this Site of Grace and you have access to it, this is going to be the start of the farm. Once here, as soon as you come out of the door, hang a left through the church, and as soon as you get to the outside section, hang a right down the little alleyway. There's going to be a ladder that you can climb where, yes, there's going to be two archers that might see you, so obviously be wary of that. The archer that's on the far side on that little ledge, he is not going to be a problem once you get past the area where the uh, banished knight is, so don't worry about killing him, just get rid of the one that's on the walkway up the ladder, and then what you can do is follow that walkway way round the side of the tower on the outside of the tower and then again you'll come to like a ladder section or you can also drop down onto the edge of the castle wall where the banished knight is going to be residing with his back to you but he has ultimate ninja skills and <laughs> will know that you're behind him even if you're crouching so you can't unfortunately go up to him and sneak attack and he's also one of those enemies in the area that are annoying and can vanish slash teleport during the fights so pro tip before you come here Grab a weapon that is going to basically power start. Whether it be something like a colossal weapon that's going to break their poise and render them useless so they can't attack you, or use something that has a nice ash of war like the blasphemous blade that I'm using in this specific gameplay. Because as I'm about to show you, if you're realistically using anything else where he's like a rampaged enemy, his attacks are much quicker. So you are probably going to struggle if you're like me using just like a general sword or a katana sort of build. So definitely focus. <laughs> focus into something that's going to knock him back and stun lock him until he's dead. Obviously I highly recommend the Blasphemous Blade because again as you're seeing on screen a couple of the Ash of War the Taker's Flames um, will take him down and hold him down <laughs> until you defeat him and we basically just need to be rinsed and repeating this one specific enemy. Um, there is another one on the other side of the castle wall but if I'm completely honest by the time you get to him you might as well have just reset anyway so I would say just get to this one defeat him, see if he drops it, if he doesn't, rinse and repeat the farm. So teleport back to the size of grace at the Church of Eclipse and run around the side of the castle up the ladder, dropping down and taking him out once again. Now, I know you lot aren't going to believe me because this is considered one of the rarest and I've got comments which I'll throw up on the screen of people telling me how rare this bloody armor set is because I've covered a few armor sets in the past, but I genuinely got it on like the second or third attempt. I'm not even joking, I will obviously leave this playing without it being uncut I was struggling with the katana build that I had previously um, I literally could not defeat him because I'm trash but switching to the blasphemous blade it literally took like two or three attempts um, so you should be seeing that as well as proof so just to preempt you, it's probably going to take you a little bit longer because I've seen widespread comments in the community saying how rare this armor set is. I'm obviously just incredibly lucky. I didn't even have that much high arcane. I think it was around about the 50 mark and I wasn't even using any boosts like the silver scarab talisman or even the silver pickled fouled foot. So yeah. I just obviously got really, really lucky with this one. And you can do this farm in about a minute, so yeah, it shouldn't hopefully take you too long to get it, but I don't want to give you false hope because I have seen, like I say, widespread comments in the community saying how hard it is to obtain this armor, but 
let me tell you, once you do get it, it is incredible. I mean, I'm going to be showing you on screen here, it looks insane. And just for sort of like bonus effect as well, there's also one banished knight that's residing in Kaelid at the Dragon Communion, who also drops the scarf version of the helmet and is the easiest one to farm because he's literally on that site of grace. So as you're probably seeing on screen right now as well, if you want to complete the look, and become an ultimate banished knight. Do also farm this particular banished knight that's residing in Kaelid. Um, and again, equally, and you're not going to believe me, but I also got this in about two or three attempts. Um, I'm just obviously lucky. I don't know what it is. With weapons, and I've always said this in previous videos, I struggle with getting weapons. But when it comes to armor pieces, I don't know what it is, whatever I'm trying to farm, I get it like almost instantly. So if there's an armor piece you want me to farm, just let me know and I'll hook you up and I'll let you know if it looks any good. But with the complete set, it really, really does look insane. And the good thing about it as well is it does hold up in terms of like the poise and also the damage negation that you get because the banished knight armor is also somewhat a heavy armor and one of the later game armors that you can get. So it does hold up in general in the gameplay as well. So not only do you look badass, but you're also really difficult to kill and pair that with a deadly weapon and you're the ultimate killing machine. So all in all, realistically, this is not a complete waste of time. This is definitely something that you should farm. Obviously, from my experience, it was fairly quick. I'm sure it can be also fairly quick for you guys if you just focus into the arcane and boosting the item discovery with those items, as we mentioned before. But it is most certainly one of the cleanest capes I've seen. I mean, I'm going to, again, just show you probably in slow motion here the look of this armor is probably the cleanest that I've seen in the game. This is the first time me personally using it and it, I was genuinely like, wow, this chest piece and the armor just looks amazing. It's just, yeah, perfection. So I now understand what all the fuss was about uh, originally and why you guys were commenting so much to say that this thing is rare and it's amazing because it truly is. Of course, you can farm either one of these banished knights or any banished knights throughout the game to also get the gauntlets and the uh, greaves, like the leggings, to obviously complete the look and you can also obtain their weapons. I don't know if you can get it from the banished knight in Castle Soul if he drops his two swords. I haven't tried that because again, with weapons, they don't drop easily for me, so I don't know. But I did actually manage to get the weapon from the guy in Kaelid. So yeah, if you want to complete the look, use their weapon and basically play Elden Ring as a banished knight. There you are. That's how you do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this sort of like quick little video to showcase a nice little armor piece for you lot. Obviously, I'm more than happy to do armor sets in the future. So if you like this particular video showcasing a really cool armor piece, do let me know by hitting the like button down below and also leaving a comment because I do genuinely read all of the comments you guys leave and it's always really interesting to get to know you all and interact with the little community that we're building here. So yeah, feel free to leave any comments and let me know how long it took you to get this particular armor set because I'm guaranteeing it's going to be a lot longer than me. And if you want to see more really cool armor sets, I have made a top five sort of like armor list in Elden Ring. So definitely go and check that out. It's made quite a while ago, but it still holds up. So if you're into your fashion, definitely give that video a watch. But ultimately, guys, that's everything from me. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. Oh, and also, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Stay up to date with all of the latest content that releases on this channel. And I'll be sure to catch you in the next video. Bye bye.